So we're going to head out on our walk and uh, walking is one of the more challenging aspects for us. We just get super excited when we're outside. Uh, however, that's that's all well and good. Uh, super normal puppy behavior. And uh, what I'd like to do to mitigate that is uh, do relax in a mat once we first get outside and then walk around. If we get too excited again, then just go over, do relax in a mat again, and then continue on my journey. Uh, I'll go over the steps um, for loose leash walking as well and um, show you how to get her to stay by our side. Um, however, that's uh, initially uh, a really, really beneficial um, exercise we've got in our toolbox is relax on a mat. So we get outside, she relaxes, and then doesn't have to be too stressed first thing right out the gate. So Penny, sit. Hey girl, free. Come, good girl. So let's do a little bit of, good job. <laughs> Good job, a little relax on a mat. So she comes in over to the mat. I'll give her one for coming over to the mat initially. Then I'm gonna look for her to relax. And very good, right on cue. Very, very good. You are amazing. Yes, you are. You're amazing. So even though we're, we've are we got our leash on, which is uh, usually a uh, triggering event where we get super excited when we see the leash. Good work, sweetie. Um, and then first thing out the door is usually the most challenging part to any walk. If we get super wound up first thing, um, then doing relax on a mat can, can mitigate that uh, really excited bit. And, and then after that, um, what do we go on our walk? We always want to keep slack in the leash. I don't want to feel any tension. It actually um, will cultivate more anxiety, the more uh, tension that we have in the leash. So we want a slack leash. And I'm simply going to click a her for hanging out by my side and... Uh, if she were to get out ahead, then I'll call her back. We can use our targeting exercise or simply use recall to get her back to our side. And then um, if she wants to run off again and she doesn't want to uh, focus on us, then I simply change directions, just do a 180, give her an opportunity then to start to follow me and realize that following after me is um, going to be the best route for her. And we, you can even turn it into a game where you start to change directions a bunch of times on her, have fun with her, and um, she'll start to run after you and chase after you, which again, what you're trying to get out of that is have her focus in on you as opposed to being so concerned about everything else that's going on around her and trying to uh, lead the dance and walk herself. So uh, we're going to take off on her journey now. She's um, she's pretty darn relaxed. She hears... Yeah. <laughs> Um, she's, she's trying to show me that she's, she's doing good. She's relaxing. Let's get this, um, let's actually get this leash out from underneath you real quick. Okay. Now we're looking good. Penny. So right by my side, I like to treat, um, when she is positioned right by my leg here. There we go. Um, you're in, in, in our shot. So what we can do now is start to click her and treat. Penny. Good girl. She comes back very good for an increased amount of paces. So right now I'm taking about every two paces. I'm giving her a click and a treat. And so it's a lot of reinforcement for, um, for Penny, letting her know that yeah, she's doing the right thing. However, as we get better, then it will be Penny. So we're, we're like, uh, so my tail just went down. So just like that, we get a little wound up when we're out, out front. So if you need to work, good girl, Penny, in a closer area to your proximity, because she's getting kind of concerned about being uh, too far away. Good job, Penny. Good girl. Then that's fine. Good girl. So we got back here. Here we're in the driveway again. Now she's happy. She's less concerned. Um, but venturing out, Penny. Um, it's great. We want to continue to venture out. But as soon as you see her body, body language start to get real stressed out, then I'll just head back. That's fine. We just went up well, like a half a house. Penny. And she wasn't feeling it. Uh, we've been able to cruise down the block, but today she's feeling a little concerned. That's fine. Penny. Um, so what you could do, we could even just start to venture out there. See uh, when she starts to get concerned, then head back. Venture out there, head back. 
so I could even, here we're at the end of our driveway here. We're starting to cruise into uncharted territory. That's fine. Kenny. And then I'm head back this way. Good job, sweetie. I'm actually, so she's not positioned exactly where she needs to be, but I'm going to click her for the eye contact. I actually do good. Really like that eye contact. And then she comes back to her spot. Um, but I really want her to know that you can focus on me and that everything's going to be fine. I don't want you to be too concerned about anything else that's going on. See, she had a little um, uh, trepidation about the boat. Oh, see, she's coming back over to her mat. So she really wants to relax. That's fine. Oh. No, she's cruising past. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. So we can relax here for a minute. Calm down. Oh, good, good, good. So I just heard a sound that usually would be kind of jarring. That could get us startled. Um, and I really like it when that occurs, when we're doing relax in a mat. We're already in a really nice relaxed state. And I hear some crazy sound, but I realize it's something I could work through. It's not that big of a deal. So this is great. So we relax here for a minute. Then let's cruise again. See how we do. Good girl. Sorry, we're wrapped up behind your leg. Oh, there we go. A little better. A little. Oh, there we go. Penny. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So she's positioned right where she needs to be, and then she's checking in with me, which is perfect. See something that smells good? Something good? Good. So she's checking in with something. She's checking in with uh, neighbors. Oh, they get, <laughs> get, get, get her wound up. Hello. Um, so actually what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click her every time that she checks in with them. Let her know it's not that big of a deal. Let's we'll see if she'll check in. So she looks at me. I'll give her one for that. We'll see if she'll look at them. I'll give her one for that. Good girl, Penny. Give her a click for looking at me. So I want to reward her for looking at me. Um, can let her know that as soon as you focus on me, that's a good thing. And also reward her for checking in. Good. With something that might stress her out and realize, yes, that's nothing to be fearful of. That means good things happen when you look at our neighbors. <laughs> Very good. Very good, sweetie. So let's head back this way. Good girl. Good. Good. Penny. Touch. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl, Penny. Good girl, Penny. Um, and then I wanted to show you what this can look like so we can go, Penny. Penny, Penny. And I'm running this way. Penny. She hits that spot, then we head back this way. Penny. Change directions. Penny. Good girl. Change this way. Go this way. Penny. Give her a treat. Good girl. Penny. Good girl. Penny. Um, so the reason behind this, Penny, is really to make it fun and so that she gets used to chasing after you or following after you. Oh, we saw a leaf. Well, that's very exciting. Penny. We're, we're wrapped up here. There we go. Very good. Um, and with the uh, slack in the leash here, this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. So another really great thing is that when we've got slack in the leash, then if we get tension in the leash, good. So she'll realize that uh, something is off and not quite right. Um, good job. Very good, girl. All right, let's head inside, sweetie. Penny. Your leg. There we go. Penny, come. Touch. We dropped one. Good girl. Good girl. Your little legs wrapped up, so sweetie. Ah, Penny. Ah. I screwed up there. I wanted to, uh, there we go, Penny. Touch. Um, Open up the door prematurely. Penny, sit. Sit. And free. Good girl. Yep, good girl. Um, 
I, I love to have my dog uh, give me a, a sit before we go through a doorway. It's basically like a way of my dog saying, please, um, is this okay? Penny, touch. Good girl. Um, so getting in that, that habit for our pups is just really, really good. Well, you just did a very good job. So that is uh, everything that we covered um, in a nutshell. And she's just a, a super, super sweet lady. And um, yeah, really, really had a great time working with this little one. Leave it. Good girl. Good girl. Why are you so smart? Why are you so smart? Nice work, sweetie.